Hey guys, Target Cycling FPV, getting ready to start to work on an RMA. Uh, this one in particular, again, this is going to be one where, sorry, let me just get my, I had quite a bit of work here going on, so it's a little messy on my desk. What, what else is new? So <clears throat> this is another bad gyro, uh, said to be a bad gyro. I'm gonna check this out and see. Um, let me open this up. Uh, I would tell you that in the future, guys, when you do set something in, put it, pack it properly. I mean, this is no offense, not getting on the customer who sent this in, but I can't, you can't send something just like this. If I sent you a flight controller like this with no packaging, you wouldn't accept it. You'd be upset. So there's really not much I can do when you send stuff like this, but let's look at the board anyway, and let's see what's going on. Um, just, you know, I, I, to assume that we don't even have the product, everything back with it. So you got, you got to, you got to do better than that just for future reference uh, because I'm not going to accept things that get sent back half-assed just thrown in a bag. I mean, gets thrown all over the place. You're assuming you're going to get your uh, replacement and I can't do that. If I find one thing that's wrong or if I notice that there's something wrong, I mean, what do you want me to do? So please just remember that, um, you know, you need, to, you need to treat the equipment properly because uh, you wouldn't like it if I sent you a board like this. And I know the customer who belongs to this, I'm not trying to dog you for it. I'm just trying to tell you that you got to at least, you know, help me out if you want me to give you some help with this. All right. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, microscope here and we're going to take a look at what has been done on this board. Uh, some of the soldering is a little bit sloppy, um, but that's noticeable right out of the bag. So let me just see what I got here. Okay. Um, we got a little bit of solder. Uh, that seems to have jumped up on here. Uh, and that's the only reason I make note of that is I try to see if we have any solder that has jumped up anywhere. As you can see, you can see bits of it uh, right here. There's flex of it that you can scrape off. Let's just look around the rest of the board. Um, let me dim this light here a little bit. Maybe that'll help me to be able to see just a little bit better what we're looking at. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, that's a quick glance there. Let's turn the board over. Let's look at what we got here. Holy crap, what is that? Just a big gob of solder, I guess. Good board. Okay. A little much in that area. Um, Oh, there's another one just to give you reference this is a I mean just so we can point out a few things here um, so this is the the well let me turn the light up so that's an m3 socket head screw that's the glob of solder that's on here it's just as tall that's too much I mean I understand that's not why this thing has been sent in but I'm going to point out a few things here that at least may help you down the road I don't know what you're using to solder, but it's it's really, really, you're putting way too much solder on here, uh, which may explain why there's some flex of solder on the board. Um, let me just see where else I'm at here. Okay, so now before I spend more time on that, let's minimize that screen, minimize that screen, minimize this screen, go to here, and let's see what happens when we plug this in, okay?
I mean, I'm not seeing anything wrong with the gyro at all. Um, let me place this here. I don't see anything wrong with this gyro at all. The gyro's working perfectly. Um, not really sure what uh, this is in here for, but as far as I'm concerned here, hey babe. Hello. As far as I'm concerned here, this gyro, I, I really don't know what uh, is wrong with this. So I guess we may have to reach out, but um, it seems to be responding just fine. Uh, what I do notice is you have somewhat of a pretty high CPU load and your, your black box is full. And I'm not really sure. Uh, let's go to mass storage mode. And let's just see what's been done on this black box. So, I'm gonna download this black box data. So let me copy this. Copy and I'll just go to desktop, make a new folder. Paste it in here. Let that copy real quick. Um, so while that's happening, uh, I'm gonna check something here real quick. So, and I have to take, sorry guys, but I gotta take the screen down so I can pull up the gentleman's records and I don't want his information there for everybody to see, so bear with me a second. Um, check something out here real quick whoops okay let me kind of navigate around here ah darn it I'm clicking so many damn buttons uh, let's close this out let me type something else here real quick it's still transferring so give it a second Yes. I'm not really sure what this guy has done. So let me minimize his documents real quick. I'm going to stop the import. It's taking too long. I don't feel like waiting any longer. Um, so let me just close that. Let me unplug this. Let me plug this back in. And let me see something here because I guess I'm a little confused about something. And so if I go to my CLI, okay, and I go to version again, it's got the JGF7 dual. Okay, sorry to do this to you guys again, but I have his page open, so I'm gonna go to the web real quick, because I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank here. So let me go to Cyclone, and then I can do this and show you guys the screen. Okay, so here's our website, right? So let's just do, um, JGMCU F7. Let's just try that, right? So this is what we're looking at right now. Sorry, bear with me a second. I want to read this. I'm going to look at something here.
Okay. All right. So looking at the gyro, uh, not seeing anything wrong. I mean, I really, I really don't see anything wrong. So what we'll do is we'll go do a side by side. I mean, here. So I've got the quad right. I mean, I've got the board right here, and uh, let's see. Let me get my arrows right. Okay. So here's the board, and we're gonna do. We're gonna reset and calibrate. Okay. I'll just put my finger right here, actually. Reset, calibrate. And then back, left, right. Let's go to configuration here and see what's going on. Let's do this. Let's connect back to it. Let's go to our CLI. Okay. And let's just type defaults. Okay. All right, then let's go to our motors. Let's give it a protocol. All right, and then let's go to our uh, configuration and let's turn off these. Now, now let's look at what our CPU usage is. I mean, we were hovering at like 35% a little bit ago, right? And now we're at 9%. So to the guy who, to the customer, I mean, the gyro is working great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this gyro at all. It sits solid. I'll put it back down. I'll reset the axis and I'll calibrate the accelerometer. Okay, and let's reset it. There we go. Calibrate, reset. I mean, I have no problems at all with this unit okay but it does look like um it does look like you had some changes on here that you must have done that created a cpu load that was really high around 35 percent um, but once we set the defaults back it is back to being normal again and based on what i'm looking at under this configuration um, i'm not seeing what you need to change everything here seems to be set properly uh let's see uh, I mean, everything, I mean, you could, obviously you're gonna change this. So we'll just pretend like you're using FreeSky, for example, save and reboot. But I don't see anything problem. I don't see anything wrong with this at all. Um, I think this is just a matter of, uh, I, I will tell you that you need to solder better in these areas. I need you to ship this better in the future. And um, pretty much other than that, that's really about it. This thing is uh, responding properly and the CPU load is low and I'm not seeing any issues at all. Okay, so uh, unless there's something else, let me be honest with you guys, I think this is just a matter of people not really knowing where to go with this stuff to understand what to look for. Uh, but uh, I get a lot, I tell you, I get, I've had more gyro claims than in the last two months than I've had in almost a year. And I think it's just people not knowing what they're doing. There's a lot of firmware out there and people are just grabbing and going and you know throwing darts at the wall, hoping something works and then claiming hardware failure. Well, and I'm not talking about this customer in particular, so please don't go bashing me customer because they don't know who you are. So don't be saying I called you out uh, and made you look bad or anything else. All I'm saying is the honest truth here is people don't take the time. They don't know what they're doing and that's understandable. It's, it's a hobby that takes some time to learn. But the different, you know, the difference is I guess is that when I was learning, I didn't claim that hardware was bad. I knew the probability of hardware being bad was so low. And so if, if, if I bought a board for the first time and it's failing, 
probably not the board's fault. Now, if I buy a thousand of them and one fails, it could be the board's fault if 999 work. So uh, this is where I get to where, uh, and, and then you, you know you got to ship it better, right? You can't just put it in a package like this and act like you don't care. Here you go, because you wouldn't want me to do that to you. So as far as this goes to the customer, um, everything's fine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. I don't see any problem with it at all. Um, so now you'll, you know, obviously we're gonna have to get you a uh, work order and get this back to you. Um, but guys, listen, take your time, okay? Because I don't know what the problem is lately, but everybody's jumping on DOA defective. I had some schmuck uh, yesterday. <laughs> This guy got two cameras on our sale for $15 a piece. These are $30, $40 cameras. And he bought them in June or whatever. And this guy, he's just a complete douchebag. He broke the first one, then said, I want another one. And I'm like, look, dude, you screwed it up. But you know what? Fine. I'll give you a store credit, 15 bucks. Well, that's not what it costs. It costs $15.99. Um, okay? You're getting 15 bucks because I'm not even asking for the camera back or anything like that. I mean, just use it. Well, I have to pay for shipping then. Okay. So you break something. Yeah. I got a dispute from him yesterday, like from the credit card. I'm like, this is the crap. This is the, this is the people that ruined the hobby. This is what I deal with. So, so everybody blames the hard. Everybody, I don't care. Even if, even if they break it. Well, the hardware shouldn't have broken. I wasn't that hard on it. No, you suck. Okay. I mean, that's, that's how it works. So uh, not saying this is what this customer's problem is, but I'm saying that there's a huge trend now of everybody blaming the hardware, 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 hardware. And it's like, okay, guys, look, unless you are willing to bet your life, obviously not your life, but you want to put your money up, put your money up. I mean, you should be charged a hundred bucks for the labor I do to tell you that, no, it's not the hardware, right? Because I have to take time out of my day to do this. Uh, but so if everybody keeps doing that, it starts taking too long. Right, and people aren't taking. They don't want to take the time to figure it out. There's like, ah, it doesn't work. Well, no, it does. And 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 uh, I'm not ranting about this guy in particular. I'm just saying in general, I'm getting really disappointed, okay, at what I'm seeing because this hobby is going to die because people are too damn lazy to do the right thing, and people aren't wanting to take the time to learn how to do the right thing. That's what's happening with this hobby. It's not the FAA. It's not the government. It's the asshats, and people either a you fly like an idiot and break the law, or b you are hammering every hobby shop you can because you don't want to take the responsibility for screwing something up yourself. Either way, keep going that way, and this is going to become a very, very uh, uh, limited hobby down the road. Okay, guys? Because you close hobby shops and you've got nowhere to go. And that's pretty much it. All right. That's my rant for the day. I've had enough of this. Um, I'm sending this back to the customer and to this customer. That rant isn't necessarily about you, I promise you. But you do need to solder better, okay? Uh, you cannot criticize hardware when your soldering looks like um, there's big blobs of it everywhere. You've got to do better before you start blaming hardware. Uh, all right. Well, that's it, guys. And I hope you take it as a lesson. No, I didn't call you out. I didn't say your name. And you're always welcome to shop with me. But I am going to tell you, if I was teaching you and this was a classroom and I was teaching you, I'd be like, you failed. I mean, I would fail you. That's fair. Because as long as you fail, you learn to get better so you pass, right? Because if 2 plus 2 equals 5 to you, then I shouldn't just out of the kindness of my heart say, oh, you were close. I'm going to tell you, you're wrong. Do it again. Same thing I'm telling with this. You did it wrong, do it again. You analyzed it wrong, do it again. You set it up wrong, do it again. Learn from the mistakes, and I promise you, you'll have a nice time in this hobby. Otherwise, um, you're going to be very limited on what you can do, and that goes to everybody. All right, guys, that's my rant. Uh, as always, please subscribe to my channel. Hate me or like me. I'm interested to tell you what I see. Okay, that's it. It's not the hardware, guys. It's not the goddamn hardware. Okay, so chill out. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.